everyone, a really hot topic right now in the whole baby food arena is baby led weaning. Now, I know a lot of natural mamas out there are doing it. I know I've gotten lots of questions from readers about what exactly is baby led weaning or what my thoughts are on it. So here's kind of a synopsis. Baby led weaning is essentially letting the baby take charge of the whole weaning process from milk to solid foods. And kind of the central foundation of this theory or this practice is allowing the baby to feed himself. It's about not doing the parades, not doing the spoon feeding and letting the baby explore all the different tastes and flavors himself. So I love this idea in theory. I think it's beautiful. And being the natural mama that I am, I was you know, very interested in trying it with Griffin. So there's kind of two schools of thought in terms of how to prepare the food. One is, is to take literally big pieces of food and foods that kind of have a handle like this banana and then letting the baby kind of gnaw away at the food. And it kind of echoes what they do with toys when they kind of gnaw on toys. The other school of thought is to cut up really, really small pieces of soft food like this. This is a pear that a baby can then pick up and put into his mouth safely and then swallow. So we did this experiment with Griffin. We tried actually with a banana. We gave him a big piece of banana like this. He went ahead and started gnawing on it. And before we knew it, he cut off a good chunk of banana into his mouth. He just kind of gummed down on it. And that's really where my whole comfort level with the big pieces of food ended. It just really scared me. And um, it just that whole choking hazard I couldn't get over. Now I know that the theory is that babies don't have the ability to move food from the front of their mouth to the back of their mouth. But frankly, I wasn't willing to take that risk. I just really didn't feel comfortable with it. So that kind of left me with this idea of the small pieces of food model um, in terms of Griffin learning to feed himself. The problem with that is that Griffin at six months, he's still too young to really have that fine motor skill of taking small pieces and putting it into his mouth. That's really something more you see at seven or eight months. That was my conundrum because I knew I wanted to start Griffin on food. He was just way too interested in it. He would grab for things, he would stare at us when we ate, and that's when I really made the decision that I'm going to do the parades um, and the spoon feeding for this in-between time, for these next month or two, until Griffin can feed himself. And I feel really good about it, and it's actually been a lot of great um, side effects to it. For example, my husband and my mom, people that haven't been involved with Griffin in food since he's been born because he's been solely breastfed, are now getting to enjoy this really bonding experience. And it's also been really fun just seeing Griffin's reactions, some of the grimaces, some of the smiles, um, and just seeing him practice opening his mouth and swallowing has been really, really valuable for us. So that's my thoughts on baby led weaning. Would love to hear what you guys are doing. I always learn so much from you. So be sure to share with us and uh, thanks for checking in.